back to another 40 runners um, today me and Jude we might be crazy it's like 23 degrees and uh, we're back at the the perch dock and the goal for today is to do a catch and cook out here at the dock so lakes are starting to freeze up I don't know if you can tell back here but the whole lake isn't frozen yet and we're gonna give this one more go because this might be the last time we get to do it. We got colder weather coming here in Minnesota and I think the lakes are gonna freeze back up all the way. Last night we did really well out here. We ended up with 16, but it was a very clear night. Um, and yeah, I don't know. With the overcast weather we got, these uh, fish might act a bit different, but we're just... Uh, Gonna run some crappie minnows out there with a bobber and hope these guys bite again. But yeah, I'm gonna get set up and get to fishing. If you didn't watch the last videos, just running a tungsten and I'm hooking them behind the dorsal fin still. Seemed to work last night. Just got the slip bobber and we're gonna cast out about 20 feet maybe. There we go. Lines in the water. Last night our first fish didn't bite until after five. And it's uh 458. So yeah, if it doesn't happen here, if we don't get anything in the next 20 minutes, I don't think they're gonna be biting tonight. Dressed a lot warmer today. I froze last night. Oh no. Popped off. Well, just had my first one. It is 510. Oh man, he was a good one. So, hooked up again. Hopefully, you get this guy in. I'm not gonna mess around with this one. Ugh. There we go. Oh. Dude, almost popped off. <laughs> got him. We got one for the for the frying pan here. Just beautiful, beautiful perch. Hopefully we can get a couple more of these and uh, we're gonna do a cook, out, a cook up for you guys. Well, I don't know how it happened, but my bobber slipped off. So now I gotta cut down another one. Hopefully we don't lose, I think I only got one more of these. I don't have a glow bobber. So it's really hard for me to see it. But I'm casting out just enough that from this light I can kind of see it. Well, it's definitely slower tonight. But I have missed two and I got one in the bucket. But Jude, first, he hasn't had any hits yet. And he was uh, the one who was slaying last night. I think I'm starting to get one. Yep. There we go. Ugh. Number two. We got enough for fish wraps. It's probably like a 10 incher. Beautiful. Yeah, maybe it, yeah, probably 10. Look at that, I still got my minnow too. We're just gonna get right back out there. Man, the wind's really starting to kind of pick up and it's snowing. We'll see how long we can last out here. I brought the buddy heater out, but for some reason like the pilot, when you push it down, it ain't clicking and a spark isn't happening. So, can't warm our hands up. 
right, well, they're getting pretty nasty out. We are gonna give it 20 more minutes. We're gonna call it good, and then we're gonna start uh, prepping our fish wraps. Goodbye, heater. We're gonna set up the stove just right here on the bench. All right, get the one burner. It's picking up. Yeah, we're gonna. We're doing this. Yep. All right, I'm gonna cut some fish up. All right, tonight's dinner. We got two, well, one jumbo and one decent sized perch, respectable. And uh, we're gonna make some fish wraps with these guys. Jude hooked up with one while I was getting getting uh, dinner prepped. Look at that! I was hoping for I was hoping for one more, cause uh, I was hoping for three fillets per wrap. And look at that! Jude finally Jude finally hooked up with one. So yeah, I'm gonna be cleaning three fish now. And we'll have a pretty good bounty for uh, supper. Get these fish cut up quick, cause they're they are uh, getting froze. But yeah, I got this nice uh, electric knife last year, this fillet knife, and I really have been enjoying it. Um, makes cutting fish up really slick. All right, we're gonna go with these guys. So yeah, you just hook it in like this. Here we go, we're gonna cut fish up. Jude hooked up with another one. I can hardly tell what's going on here. Oh, he's a big one. Holy moly. Look at his belly. Holy. All right. Here's another one. This one's got to be, I mean, I'll measure him quick for you guys, but he's, I'm guessing 11, 11 and a half incher. All while we're making dinner here. We're just gonna put them back and we'll catch them for later. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. We're gonna measure them here quick for ya. Yep, I don't know how well you guys can see that. Jude's moving the light, but that's an, uh, just take my word for it, it's an 11 incher and Jude's gonna release them. Jeez, it's actually a hunk. Yeah, get him in though. He's just gonna freeze. Just Louisiana fish fry. We're gonna put a little bit of that in a bag here quick and get these fillets in there. Oh, my hands are cold. All right, a little seasoning in the bag here. Probably overkill on the seasoning. There you go, some beautiful fillets. Fresh fillets. Look at that. I'm really glad we ended up getting that third one. Because that's really going to help these, these fish wraps. Just give them a good shake. Cool. Fish is re the fish fillets are ready for the pot. Or the skillet. So yeah, now I gotta get the oil up to heat. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Add our oil here.
this bench is a little uneven so everything's kind of going to the back but that's all right we don't have a lot of fish to fillet or to fry <laughs> there you go we'll turn it up a little actually that's all the way up right there all right we'll let this this oil heat up for a bit from the water into the frying pan tonight I think this oil is about ready here you go first perch fillet uh, it could get a little hotter but I think we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it you guys because it's it's getting really cold out. I don't know how hot this oil is gonna get since the wind's kind of just blowing right at us. Ooh, this uh, breading smells nice. Look at that. That is beautiful, dude. Doesn't that smell good? Okay. Awesome. That smells great. Got to get these guys in the oil a little more. Now that oil's really cooking. This is smelling really good. This has been a lot of fun. The last three days coming out here, fishing these perch. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. My last three evenings we have fished open water here in Minnesota, off a dock, and on a lake I've never fished before. I'd say a minute or two and uh, these are gonna be ready. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna prep uh, our wraps here. And they're just really simple, you guys. But I highly recommend this probably no-brainer uh, fish wrap recipe. We just have some uh, tortillas, nothing special, keto friendly, some green stuff from home. You don't want too much green stuff on there. You want to. You mostly want to load it up with fish. Moment of truth, we're going to add some fish to this. I think this fish is about ready. All right. We'll get Jude's wrap first. Oh man, I'm so happy we got one more fish because this is going to be perfect. All right. I'm going to turn this off, let it start cooling down. All right. We just got some uh, Fiesta blend cheese. It's cold. Woo, I'm cold. All right. Do a little cheese. Then we got, uh, I don't know how many of you are fans of tartar sauce, but we love tartar sauce. So we're gonna put some tartar sauce on there. Jude likes a lot of tartar sauce. All right. Let's see if I could fold this even good. We're just gonna hand this to Jude right away and let him munch munch on it all right let's try this let's see what jude thinks oh we're missing his first bite mm -hmm. fresh perch it's good all right so good all right you guys i'm gonna make mine we're about to try our first bite i'm just gonna do it like a taco basically It's bomb. 
That is so good, you guys. All right, you guys. This has got a huge thumbs up for me. This is, this is awesome. You guys got to try this. I mean, we caught this these perch 20 minutes ago was the last one. And now we're eating them. Man, fish wraps with perch. Love it. I'm going to enjoy this thing. And uh, we're going to pack up and probably head home. If you guys enjoyed this style, like a catch and cook video, um, please hit the thumbs up. If you guys haven't, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below if you like this video or not. Yeah, until next time, you guys. Have a good, uh, happy new year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.